Hello everybody and welcome to part 7 on Snow Runner. So in front of us we have a drowned scout truck and I'm gonna see if I can get it out of there because we have our scout 800 right here and I mean we have some pretty fairly I mean beefy looking tires on it. I mean they're not the biggest let's say but you know what? Let's see if we can actually do this. So we're not gonna drive straight into the mud because that's not really a good idea. So I'm gonna see if I can, like, sort of maneuver myself to, like, to that, I mean, place over there. So it's going to be difficult, of course. It's going to be really difficult. But I, we just have to believe and get some speed. Okay, great. I'm stuck. Don't get stuck right now. It's a bad idea. So hopefully we can get... I mean, we're not getting a lot of speed over here. But, okay. Here we go. Okay, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't do that. That's not a good idea. There we go. Come on. Come on. I know we can do this. Okay, we have to get ourselves in low range gear. That's maybe a good idea. There we go. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Just be careful. Okay, so what we have to do is... Okay, repairing vehicles. So, uh, I don't know if we have to repair this vehicle. But, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can get it out of, the, out of here. So, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, can I start the engine? I'm gonna see. Uh, I think the end or change trucks. No, I can't because. All right, I guess so. I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. Uh, okay, can I go back to my truck? Okay, it's in low range, so we can't really. Okay. Uh, we can't reverse. That's the problem. We can't re reverse in low range. Which is going to be quite a small problem. Okay, don't get into the mud. Oh, crap. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna get stuck in here. Yeah, I, I think I'm done. <laughs> oh, no. Reverse. Get us out of here. Get us out. Okay, well, attach winch. <laughs> well, this truck has to help us a little bit. Or, you know what? Let's see if I can actually get him from behind. Uh, like this. Here we go. Okay, at least we can get ourselves out. And then put ourselves again to low range. And make our way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Look at this. We're moving slowly. But at least we're making some progress. Okay, so... Uh, attached to the back, like this. Okay, we're gonna pull the winch. Okay, no, 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 don't th dig yourselves in. Whoops, <laughs> I just flipped over the truck. Okay, you know what? I can still, I can still, I can still do this. Don't worry, I can still do this. There we go. Okay, come on. We can get ourselves out. <laughs> we still have some faith. Come on. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at all this mud over everywhere. Like, it's... <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. I don't know if we can get through this fence over here, but I think we can. Okay, come on. Spin your tires backwards. Okay, there goes the fans. I don't care. Ooh. No, 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 no. Okay, dangerous water levels. That's bad. We don't want that. We don't really want that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes. Yes, we did it. Okay, so where do we have to deliver this truck? Oh, okay, yeah. It's going to get damaged a little bit. But anyways, we actually managed to do it. I'm surprised. I mean, it's a small truck, but wow, <laughs> we somehow managed to get it. Oh crap! Okay, that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I can find a spot or a place where I have to like deliver this truck. Uh, let's see, drowned highway truck, uh, drowned scout truck. Okay, so it's telling me to deliver it right here, but it's not telling us that we have to like repair it. So I'm guessing that we just have to deliver it and just. I mean, yeah, basically give it 
to or place it there. But yeah, not bad <laughs> for its first task. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna save that uh, other truck. I mean, the highway truck that's stuck in mud. Whoa! What was that for a bounce? Nice bounce. And come on. Wait. So it's telling. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, drown scout truck. Okay, right here. So, I finally found out what I actually have done wrong here. What I'm supposed to do is, of course, activate the task before we can actually begin and getting the scout out of the, I mean, out of this field right here, filled with, I mean, with water and all that. So, if we accept it, now what we can do is finally deliver this drowned truck. So, uh, the problem is I have actually parked it up right here. So I need to go ahead and go all the way back to, yeah, my drowned truck. And we also don't have a lot of fuel. So hopefully I can actually still get there somehow with uh, a full tank of fuel. Because <laughs> uh, it's not looking good. I'm pretty low on fuel. 34 gallons, actually the lowest uh, that I've ever gone to. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get back to, oops, okay, I need to go to long range. Because I don't want to get stuck over here. Let's say that. So I'm going to see if I can go full speed at the same time. So I'm gonna go back to the farm now and finally complete that task because it took me forever. Like I was confused and what I was doing and all that, but I finally managed to find that out. So, I mean, at least we did something right. Okay, whoops, yeah, we're gonna damage our, our vehicle a little bit, but hopefully that's not gonna, hopefully give a lot of effect. But okay, let's go switch back and there we go. All right, so now, um, not that I know, now I know what to do. <laughs> Man, I'm not, I'm sorry guys, I, I just feel like a dumb person. Like every time when I do a task or a mission, whatever like that, I just feel just dumb what I'm doing. So yeah, just my apologies guys. I mean, I'm just bad at like doing stuff that I'm normally supposed to do to like, yeah, like basically you saw guys what I'm talking about. So now what I can finally do is uh, so we have to attach you back to here, to the truck, and then we have to pull it to here. Okay, and then of course we're gonna get our money and all that good stuff. Yes. Okay. So uh, we completed the reward and materials order. Yeah, I'm supposed to. Uh, I actually by accident I activated that uh, that thingy majiggy uh, mission. Uh, I think it was in Husky forwarding. Yeah. So, I'm gonna stop tracking this, because I'm not gonna do, I mean, we could do this one, but I think I'm gonna leave that alone. So, uh, what are we gonna do today? So, we have this roadblock over here, and also another drowned truck over here, Chevrolet Kodiak C70. I mean, I really wanna get that truck out of there. But we also have a couple of upgrade parts around scattered, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm also gonna see... If I can, um, I, the problem is I don't know what exactly do we need, so I'm gonna check that out for right now. So, roadblock. So the thing that we need is service parts. The problem is the only place that we can get service parts is at the warehouse. So what this actually means is I have to go all the way back to my Fleet Star. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go first, I'm, first I'm gonna get out of this mud, because otherwise we're gonna be stuck here. Which is not great, so we're just gonna get this thing out of here. There we go, in a safe spot. And then I'm gonna switch over to the Fleet Star. And also, uh, I think, yeah, I think we do, we do not need a trailer. I think we're fine. So, we're just gonna put on the handbrake. And then what we're gonna do is, of course, go all the way back to... Yeah, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and set a waypoint. So, yeah, we basically have to go here and take this very, very muddy road to oh no it's actually over here whoops <laughs> so yeah we have to take a very muddy looking road all the way to here so i guess we're gonna go ahead and do that and uh yeah i will basically see, i will see you guys there because it's going to be a pretty long journey so yeah anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and also you know what i'm also gonna take that trailer of us that uh red one i mean it could come as in hand it could come in handy maybe but i'm gonna also go ahead and attach that to the back of our truck. Oops, hey, do not crash into that lamp. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attach you first. Attach trailer. Oops, getting too far away. Let me just park up a little bit more professionally. Like this. And there we go, we have attached it. 
So, yeah, now I'm gonna drive all the way to that warehouse and grab some service parts. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there where I'm cl anywhere close to the warehouse, so... Okay. Okay, guys, so here we are, and the problem is, is that I'm kind of digging in into the mud. So, it's not looking good already. <laughs> already digging into the mud. But okay, we're just gonna turn on on diff lock, because look at that. We're moving slowly, but, uh, that doesn't... Yeah, of course, we're gonna move in, we're gonna move a little bit slower than normally. Hopefully we can actually get there. I don't know if I should... I don't know if it was a good idea to take this trailer with us, but... Might as well also take it with us. Okay, come on, come on, come on, get through this water. Okay, you know what, it was that bad idea again. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna stay in a uh, diff lock. I'm gonna stay in low, uh, all wheel drive and turn on my diff lock. Because uh, this mod is actually really, really bad here. Really, really, really bad. But okay, at least... So, yeah, if we go to the warehouse, there's definitely going to be basically everything that we need. So, if we arrive there, it's gonna be perfect. We're gonna have tons of parts and all that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at the map if I'm right. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna remove that waypoint. Uh, there's also a trailer at the warehouse, so I'm gonna see a, a, how that trailer looks like. We're gonna discover it. Okay, here we go. Going downhill. Yeah, we have to, I mean, I'll, what I also want to do is, like, save up, like, I want to also start saving up for a, a new truck, because the problem is with these highway trucks, of course, I mean, they're not meant to go off-road, they're meant to go, I mean, they can go off-road, but not too much. You could, but not really, it's not meant for it. So, I actually want to save up for, like, an, a professional, talk about a professional off-roading going truck. So we don't have to worry about getting stuck or mud or anything like that. And if we get stuck, I mean, we can still manage to get out, of course. But okay, there's the warehouse. We're almost there. Okay, okay. Kind of going all over the place. Okay, we're digging a little bit into the mud. But not too much. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Here we go. I wonder where they're... I don't know why, but they're not even... <laughs> there's no, like, gravel or any... Gravel or even... Like, oh, man. This, I just hate I just hate dirt. I mean, you guys know the struggle with dirt. <laughs> but, okay, we're gonna take a shortcut. I don't know if it's a good idea because... Oh, man. Bump, bumpy bumps. Screw it, but I'm going off-road. Oh, yeah, we did it. There you go. The Fleet Star managed to do it. And uh, we have arrived at the warehouse. Which is pretty surprising. So, it was kind of a waste of bringing that trailer with us. But okay, uh, new trailer discovered, and we also discovered the warehouse, which is great. So, cargo management. Uh, I need service parts. So, auto load and auto load. Uh, I'm curious what else do we need? Because, I mean, this bridge, uh, let's take a look. So,. I think that's the only thing that it needs, because it's just rocks get, basically, so... I don't know if I should take this trailer with me, but uh, you know what? Just just for the sakes of it, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. Because now, I bet the truck is pretty heavy now, and I'm worried that we're gonna get stuck somewhere. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, little trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave you here. So we attach trailer. And now, we can go ahead and drive with a little bit of less weight, of course. Because now I bet the truck weighs around maybe like 5 or 6 tons. Definitely, with those big boxes of service parts. But okay, now we can, uh, we can go ahead and open that road up. And of course, we're, we're also going to see if I can... We're also going to see if we can get that truck out of there, that Chevrolet Kodiak. Okay, yeah, there we go. This is doing fine. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm curious if I can get a... Sh I can go sh take a shortcut. No, not really. Okay. Well, we're just going to go back to the, to the same dirt road. Okay, yeah, a little bit of a tr struggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're going to wiggle our way out of here. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Not bad for a Fleet Star. 
Not bad. Okay. Uh, I'm also curious what level are we? I think we're about rank seven. No, no, no not seven, but I think we're rank four at the moment, or three. So I, w I would be surprised if we're gonna get to rank five. That would be pretty amazing. Like ranking every single uh, time, or in every single part of the video. Okay, I do have to put in low range gear. Because we're struggling, of course, with all of our cargo on the back. But I do not want to get stuck. No way. Okay, turn that off. And full power, come on! The fully star is doing pretty amazing, I can tell. Come on, you little beast. Go downhill. Full speed. Come on. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, wow. Not bad. First gear, come on. You can get yourself out in first gear. There we go. Look at that. I, I even have had an... I mean, I turned on low range gear, like, for a minute, but not too many times. So, there we go. Finally, on a road. <laughs> After getting stuck a little bit on dirt and, dirt and everything. Oh, crap. Okay. Great. That's fun. More. More of dirt. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh, ooh, don't flip over. Don't flip over. Or don't crash into that lamppost. Or electric pole. Whoops. That's an electric pole, Mr. Orange. It's not a... Uh... It's not a telephone pole. I mean, it could be. I think it is. Okay, and there's the roadblock. So hopefully that's the only thing that we need to uh, to open this up. So we're, of, of course, going to accept it. So, cargo management. Yes! There you go. Now it's opened up. Very nice. So there you go. We got some more money. Now, the question is... Uh, should I go all the way back and get that Kodiak? You know what? I think we should. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to... Okay, why is that mission all the way... Why is that contract always keep popping up? Okay, I don't want to do it. Um, stop tracking. Uh, restart. No, I don't want to restart. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do that. Okay, so now... Uh, I'm not really sure if this truck can do this. Like, get this uh, other truck out of there. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. With no hev hesitation, we're just going to get it out of there. And, okay, uh, where are we supposed to... Okay, just... Okay, just keep going forward. Just making sure, guys. Just making sure. Double checking. We're gonna go ahead and get that thing out of there. Okay, here we're supposed to turn. Very hard turn. Is it here? Oh, no, it's in front of us. Whoops. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Going uphill. All right, and here we go. Down this hill. Oh, there's a wooden bridge. Ugh. Okay. I don't know if I should go slow or fast, but... I guess it's both. I guess it's both. Ooh. A little bit of a wiggle. <laughs> the bridge will wiggled a little bit. Okay, and where is it? So, it's supposed... So, it's telling us... Um... You know what? I think I'm gonna go to that place over there. Because we can't really go between these trees over here. So I'm gonna see. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot of dirt. A lot of it. Okay, whoops, that's that's the wrong turn. I'm not supposed to turn into that tree trunk. What are you stuck on? Seriously, you're stuck on that little tree? Come on. I thought you were more more powerful, Fleet Star. Yeah, get yourself out of there. Whoops. Just bounced. Bounced into the tree. And are we supposed to turn? Yes, right here. Yeah, I mean, the mud is pretty... close. So 
So here we might struggle a little bit because we have to go uphill. Uh, come on. Unleash all the horsepower that you have. And you actually managed to do it. Great. Uh, oh, there's the truck. The Kodiak. Okay. Um, well, you're pretty stuck. Yeah, pretty much stuck. Uh, can I? No, we have to go a little bit closer. Like this, handbrake. Is that close enough? Mm, not really. No, 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 they're going into the water. Okay. I think we're gonna put the handbrake on here. Alright. So, dangerous water level. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't go into the water. Uh, yes! Okay, we did, Okay, we discovered the truck. Come on, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Come on. At least we discovered the truck, so we can get in. Okay, I think we're stuck now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, yeah, we're pretty much stuck. But I'm gonna see... Okay, where is my... Attach winch. I think we already... Okay. No, you know what? Deactivate that. Uh, come on, get yourself out. I mean, we can recover it. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna stop here. Uh, let's see. Can I... Chain trucks. Okay, we can. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much out of fuel and basically destroyed. So how about... Mm, okay, I can recover you, but first... Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get the Fleet Star out of here. Uh, no, 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 not change trucks. Attach winch. No, attach winch to the back. To this little tree. Yes, and we got ourselves out. No problem. So I think I'm gonna stop like right about here. Okay, so, uh, change trucks. Can I? Yes. And I'm gonna go ahead and recover you. Yes. Okay, so. We got a Kodiak C70. I don't know if this is going to be a useful truck because... Let me go ahead and see. Um, so yeah, it's a... I don't know. Can I? Yeah, it's a he heavy-duty truck. The same thing like the Fleet Star. The problem is, I don't know if you really need it. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I'm also going to see what sort of upgrades can we give it to. So suspension, we can have raise. Uh, hang on, do we have diff lock? Oh, we do. That's nice. Spare wheel. It also has enga engageable all wheel drive. Oh no, does it have? Oh, hang on. No, it doesn't. That really sucks, actually. <laughs> uh, front side, what do you have here? Nothing. Mm, I don't know if I really like this truck. To be honest, I mean it's not great. But uh, I'm also gonna see how much does it cost, or how much, like how much money are we gonna get for selling it? Of course. Uh, so can I have a menu? No, not really. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. So trucks. Ooh, thirty-three thousand dollars. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna sell it right now. So we're just gonna return back. And remove all those uh, waypoints. Okay, so what else could we do here? So th there is a watchtower right over here. I don't know if I should go there. Uh, but anyways, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for the Fleet Star. Of course. Uh, the problem is we're pretty much out of fuel. But we're just going to go for it. I'm going to go to that watchtower. And hopefully we can also discover it because I don't do not want to like do not want to drive with the scout all the way to here. I mean, it's pretty rough over here. It's pretty rough. So this truck might actually do the job. Hopefully. <laughs> so it's up this wow. Okay, it's up this hill right here. That's crazy, crazy, crazy high. So I think we're supposed to turn somewhere. 
or right here. Okay. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Or fine. At least we have all who drive in this truck. At least we have that. Because if we didn't have that, then we're... We're... Yeah, basically, basically screwed. Because you can't li really live out... Live without all you drive, of course, in your truck when you're going in mud. Okay, so come on, look at this. No problem at all. We're up this hill. Okay, and the watchtower is right above us. Okay. Let's see. Um, so telling us that we can go ahead. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to turn to here. And, oh, there you go. No problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a little better. We have At least we have a road up in here. At least we have a road. Ouch, 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 ouch. That hurt a lot. It really did. Ooh. Some, steep, some really steep mud. Oh, look at this hill. Oh, man. <laughs> There's no way we can do this. Oh, yes, it can. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Look at that. Even the, the wheels are not even spinning. Yeah, we're definitely going to make it there. Definitely. You know what? Screw it. No wall will drive. We can go there. Oh, a little bit of a struggle. Okay. Engageable all-wheel drive. Here we go. Not a single problemo, truck. Okay, and back to normal. Okay, no, no, no. normal. Come on. Do not want to stay in low uh, low range gear. It's not. I mean, it's not. We don't really use it now. So. Okay. So if we discover this watchtower over here, that means we only have one more watchtower to, dis to discover, of course. And that's. Uh, I don't know where exactly it is, but it's pretty close to the farm or where we actually began with part one. If you guys remember, with the Chevy. So. I mean, that's a good thing. That's a good thing that we discovered every single watchtower. Okay, don't get stuck. And yes, there you go. You managed to do it with this huge beast over here. Yes, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna launch observation. See what sort of tasks do we have here to complete. Okay, so what do we have here? Ooh, local. Ooh. Interesting. So we have some new tasks over here. Local entertainment. Wow, okay. Um, so we need a scout. <laughs> Definitely. It's telling us that we have to like discover every single hill. Uh, metrology data. Okay, it's one of those tasks where we have to like go as fast as possible. In like 10 minutes or something like that. Okay, you know what? That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Uh... A scout flatbed. Cool. Okay, so we managed to discover that. Uh, sadly enough, I'm going to leave the Fleet Star over there. And I'm going to go ahead and discover this last watchtower, which is right here. So let's go ahead and go back to... Do, 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 scout, scout, scout. Scout 800. 800. There we go. Okay. So we're going to start the engine. Of course, that's the first thing that we're going to be doing. All right, so I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if we, we will make it with like only 28 gallons of fuel, but I think we can. I think with only that mu amount of fuel. So how are we going to do this? Uh, so wait, where is it? Oh, there's the watchtower. Okay, so we have to drive all the way there. Okay. Well, at least we're going to have a fun journey. So, again, guys, I'm going to go all the way to the watchtower, and I'll see you guys, or I'll meet you guys close. 
or as close as possible to the watch. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. See me, I will meet you guys there at the watchtower. So, yeah. So, guys, we're almost there. I'm trying to get up this hill right here. The problem is, it's really rough. So, of course, what I'm going to do is to help ourselves out. I'm going to go ahead and attach this winch. Hopefully, we can actually get up this hill. And, yes, we managed to do it. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna double check on the map where exactly. So yes, here's the watchtower, and we're supposed to follow this this road over here. It's not really a road; it's more just of a path. Okay, turn and look at this, guys. Oh man, our last watchtower in Michigan. I don't know if that's a good thing that we have done, like discovered every single watchtower, but but I think that it's a good thing that we discovered. I mean, every single tower in Michigan. So, here it is. That was easy. I mean, not too bad. We just had to use a winch a little bit. Kind of, uh... Had to go a little bit up this hill, but... Oh, crap. Uh, a little bit of a struggle. Not too bad. Okay! Watchtower! Our last one. We're gonna go ahead and observate. I mean, there's nothing else to look around here, because we have discovered basically everything. Okay! So, last, so I think, yeah, everything is discovered over here, which is nice. Uh, so, we have a wooden bridge over here. Uh, I don't know if we should also go ahead and do this one. Uh, let's see, wooden bridge. So, of course, we need wooden planks for it. Uh, I'm curious if we have any more wooden planks. So, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and see how I can get the fleet star all the way down from this hill. Or just to make it easy, I'm just gonna recover it and grab some wooden planks from somewhere. I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'm gonna leave you here. So let's go back to the fleet star. Here we go. Fleet star. And I'm gonna go ahead and recover you. I think that's going to be the easiest way because we're also really low on fuel. And I'm not really sure if we're gonna make it. Sorry, guys, but I just, I just had to do it. If you wanna finish, I, I mean, if we if we wanna finish this uh, this task like today, so I also wanna do another task and of course do that. So now uh, I'm gonna drive. So what I I mean I have to drive all the way to the lumber uh, to the yeah. Okay, just remove that little waypoint. So now I have to drive all the way to here to the wood section. Uh, you know what we could. Hmm. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna drive all the way to the lumber mill and get some wood, of course, and then I'll meet you guys there. And maybe we can... I was thinking about maybe taking this path over here. Let's see. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if it's really rough because it looks really rough. Look at this. Yeah, you know what? If we get there, I'll, I will see you guys there. So, yeah. Okay, so we have arrived at the lumber mill. So here it is, right in front of us. And of course, I managed to this. I mean, basically break my truck because if you cannot tell by the suspension and the engine health, I managed to crash a couple of times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not the greatest driver, let's say. So uh, we're gonna grab some wood or some planks, of course. So we're gonna grab those and yeah, of course, we're gonna go ahead and wooden planks. Here we go, we need two of them. And now, the question is, should we take this path, the easiest and the shortest, or should we take the very long one? We have to go around to here, and I mean, it looks fairly easy, but you know what? I'm gonna go for the difficult one. I don't know if it's a good idea, doing it at nighttime, but just, I mean, I just wanna go ahead and have an, a little bit of an exception. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at morning, because I do not wanna, like, lose all this cargo. Like, I really do not wanna lose it like do this all over again like I have to recover the truck again and then I have to come back here I mean it's just a lot of work it's not just like you know picking up and doing it again like restarting of course it's not like that guys it's not really like that okay so we have to go down here down this hill but I have some faith that we can do this fleet star I mean the fleet star isn't great at all but we can do this. Uh, hopefully we're not gonna drive like straight into water because that would be pretty bad if that's the case Okay, was it actually here? 
Oh, wow. I'm <laughs> going the wrong way. <laughs> wow, game. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Great. So, I guess... Go ahead and... Oops. Yep. Yeah, going a little bit off-road. Going into the wilderness. Into the wilderness. We go. Alright, here it is. Here is a very steep hill. Okay, uh, that's going to be low range. Definitely. Come on. The flock. Just to be safe. Okay. The fuel, si the fuel situation is going to be fine. Uh, but now, yeah, wow. I'm kind of worried about that water. I'm not really sure how steep that is or how deep that actually is, but no, 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 don't, don't be in low range. Come on, just keep going. Just keep going, and everything will be okay. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, you know, screw it. Full speed. I don't care. Uh. Ooh, okay, that was no, that was not too bad. Okay. Um. Well, look at that. We also found a part over here. Get upgrade. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay. That's actually really good. So we unlocked a raid suspension part for the Fleet Star, which is... Oh, okay. That's going to come in... That gonna, that's gonna, definitely going to come in handy. We actually really need that. So now what, what I can actually do is raise the Fleet Star a little bit up to... Off, off of the ground. So we don't, we're not going to bottom out too much on the, I mean, the, basically the trees and the mud and all that, which is good. I'm really happy about that. So at least we don't not we do not have to. Whoops! Did I just hit? Okay, I just hit that. Great. Kind of unexpected. But okay, at least we got the wood. Well, it's fairly easy. It was not too difficult of a journey. All right. So transport it over here. Okay, show task, we're gonna accept it, and we're gonna, okay, show task. Uh, oh, I have to go up, up to here. Okay, I will do that, I will do that right now. Alright, so we're not gonna get stuck. And, okay, put on the handbrake, wood, and yes. It's not really a stable looking bridge, but it's not bad. So we got some money. Of course, one thousand four hundred dollars and some experience points, and again, another successful job completed. So we're gonna back up over here, and uh, I think what we're gonna do is end off this video over here. I mean, this is a perfect spot, just perfect. Uh, I'm also gonna okay. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Can I do this? Can I? Okay, Dyson. Nope, that's here. Okay, stop tracking. Thank you, game. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stop tracking, and of course, we managed to do again a lot of work today. Like, I mean, a lot. So we, we managed to remove all those rocks. We discovered a truck over here. And, I mean, not a special one, but I mean, we could all we can sell it, of course, make some money off of it, and discovered more of the islands. And yeah, you guys basically know what we have done today. If you have watched the video, of course. So, if you guys have managed to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like for, of course, more videos on SnowRunner. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.